I'm at Mitchell Caverns in uh, Eastern California near the Arizona border. I'm at the trailhead, the Mary Beale Nature Trail. It's a short hiking trail. See, there's a sign. No horses, no bicycles, hiking only. Notice it doesn't say no steamrollers. All right, so anyway, here we go. So that road, that's the way I came up. Way over there near those mountains, that's where Interstate 40 is. So to get up here, you have to come off Interstate 40 at um, Essex Road and then um, come up here. It's about 18 miles from the highway. Make sure you get a full tank of gas. It's best if you come from the east. There's a Chevron there. Charges like $7 a gallon, but at least that way you're full. If you come from the west, I think the last gas, the gas station was like 60 miles ago. So. Once we get away from that diesel generator, it's nice and quiet up here. It's real pretty. This is a bit uneven here. Even the trail is not that good. Near the uh, parking area, there are some slightly easier trails for people to explore, like the trail up to the cave entrance. There are three caves here, I don't remember the name. There's one way over there to the right, it's closed, we're not allowed to get in that one. And then there's the guided tour goes through two of the caves that are connected together. This is my first time walking around a desert of this type with this many different cactuses and stuff. It's really neat. Get all sorts of weird colors. Light greens, dark greens, olive greens. See this cactus here, that circular one, it's got sort of a pinkish purple color in there. Kind of interesting. said it's uh mid-march what is this again yeah march 18th and it's already above 60 degrees fahrenheit so it's nice and warm here but, yeah i'm coming here late summer wow i bet it'd be really really hot so, sure inside the caves it's nice but actually from the parking area you have to hike up to the cave i think it's about a quarter of a mile half a mile so I haven't hiked up there yet. After this, I might do that. See how it goes. Wow, look at this plant. I guess it's some kind of cactus. It looks more like a hairy plant. <laughs> really, really fine pokey thingies. Spikes. Really soft and silky compared to other cactuses. Look at this, this barrel cactus. I'm not sure how many different plants that is. Might be two or three next to each other. Interesting. There's another interesting one. These mountains are nice. Down here it's not that steep. They said there's no trail to the top. If you want to go to the top, you have to get a backcountry permit and find your own way up. Looks like it'd be a little steep for me. I could go over there to the left, work my way up. But they say it's tricky with all the cactuses. I'm not sure how long it would take me. But I'd rather see if I can get inside the cave. Yeah, look at the size of that cactus. That's a good one. It's like more than a foot in diameter. Waist high. Wow. Some bigger ones over there too. Here's a sign warning about all the cool birds that are supposedly here. Ow, I got stabbed in the foot by a cactus. I'm not wearing boots, I'm just wearing shoes. Yeah, if I was gonna go hiking to the top, I'd probably wear uh, boots to protect my feet. I wonder if rattlesnakes are out yet. How fast live about rattlesnakes? Just like the bats, I think the rattlesnakes hibernate in the winter. Even though it's warm during the day, it's cold at night. 
desert is like that huge temperature range in one day without the humidity to moderate it. Nice little cluster here. Pretty rock, some red, reddish like rust. Huh. Nice flat cactus here. Looks like it got knocked over though. Huh. Well, here's a bigger one, same kind. Wow, watch your step here. Some of these plants are taller than I am. I'm a little under six feet. This one looks like it's close to seven. Look at that, overlapping the trail. Luckily I'm wearing my jacket. Even though it's warm, I'm wearing the jacket just because it's got pockets and stuff. Protect my arms from the cactuses and the cacti. This is as high as that water tower now. Despite being in the middle of nowhere, the restrooms up here, they have real flush toilets and um, sinks you can actually wash your hands. So that's kind of nice. So they're making us use outhouses. Notice there's an intersection here. I was here before. To the right, it's a dead end, there's a little bench you can sit on enjoy the view I think that's supposed to be the end of this trail I do like the color of this rock though fascinating That's the way I came up. So I'll turn right here, finish the loop.